everyone. Welcome back to Daily Deal Day 11, I think. Sorry, yesterday I didn't do the Daily Deal. I just wanted to quickly show you a peek of one side of the packaging room. Um, I'm gonna give you a grand tour as soon as my husband finishes uh, putting some of the tables up and things like that. I got some uh, bends and things I need to organize and all that stuff, but I got the cabinetry in. I gotta put the handles on the doors. Um, so this is one side. The other side you'll see later, but I really just wanna hopefully not make you dizzy but scan through here to start showing you what the daily deal of today is. Um, these are already marked. Um, there's 20 packages available and um, they're only $9. So uh, yep, just wait, you guys will see. Uh, they are totally adorable and I just did a variety of things. Uh, let me see if I could do this one handedly first. Um, and we'll go from there. This is package number one. You get a booklet of sheet music. Um, you'll get uh, this one here. Looks like you get a couple of vintage jewelry that you could take apart and use, uh, which is quite adorable. That's why I put two because these were smaller. The other packages have other things, you know. Um, but um, you get a vintage postcard. Let's see here. Um, it's a rose and it's got some old writing on the back. Um, like I said, a vintage hanky. It's a simple one. It looks like it has like um, a little bit of uh, tatting done um, along the edge. Um, and also you get, um, let me pause this and I can grab it out for you guys. Okay, so <laughs> I'm learning how to use my pause button. This is amazing when you do it by hand. Um, it's two Saturday evening posts. Um, they're full, uh, complete. This one here is November 1975. Um, that's a March of, uh, um, I'm not sure, but um, they're, I'm sure they're in the 70s, 60s, but it's like the old um, Saturday Evening Post, those who are familiar, which is not a bad deal. So you get those two Saturday Evening Posts um, for this packet number one. You get this sheet music booklet, um, vintage postcard, a doily, and uh, two pieces of jewelry um, to use towards one of your projects. So the pack number two um, is this um, music booklet, uh, the brocade slippers. It looks very Victorian to me. So that's why I did this um, this piece of jewelry here that you could take apart, um, rhinestone. Um, and um, uh, you get a doily here also in this one. It's got the cute little detail work. Um, then you get um, a vintage postcard. Uh, it's just elegant. I just thought it all went well together. Um, that's the date. And I love the handwriting. It looks like one of those uh, inkwell ones. Um, and uh, so it looks like this here is Piano Solo by Ruth something French. That helps you guys out any, but it's a booklet. Um, with sheet music. Um, in this number two package, you also get this book. It's called A Time to Keep. Um, it's gorgeous. It's just a gorgeous book. The inside cover is adorable as well. Um, the pages are just, sorry, I hope I'm not making you guys dizzy, um, are just beautiful. Um, beautiful pages. Oops, I don't want to lose my number there. It's just a full book um, of beautiful things you can do. I mean, you can't beat the price. Um, nine dollars for all these things that you can use for your projects usually books go for about ten dollars um so yeah i just thought it'd be a great daily deal this one's really cool as well this is package number three of course you get the vintage postcard i love the ones it's got the music on the back it's an oldie um 1912 i think um, and then I get a vintage hanky. This one has a letter F on it. Of course, a rhinestone piece of jewelry. Um, let me move these guys aside really quick. The book you guys get with this one is called The Age of Progress. Uh, I think it's by uh, uh, Great Ages of Man. I think it's Time Magazine. Um, yep, uh, yep, Time Life Magazine. Sorry. Um, a pretty thick book as well. It's about like the Victorian era. You know, the pages are just quite amazing. I'll back this up so you guys kind of see without losing my numbers <laughs> with the air. Hang on here. Um, it's black and white and in color. So it has just a lot of beautiful, beautiful pages. So I think you guys kind of get the drift there. And also you get a music booklet as well that says somebody loves you. Totally Victorian-ish. I just thought it all went well together. 
so that is packet number three. Can't beat it. Here's packet number four. Um, that certain party, of course, looks like the 20s. Um, you get the vintage postcard. This one's a Valentine's Day one. I thought it was adorable. Here's the back. I'll try to go slow so I don't... 1911, so I don't make you guys dizzy. Usually when it's in a tripod, it's a lot less dizzy. Um, and then this one comes with like a peacock piece. I don't know if you guys can see that little beads. Very elegant. Um, and then it comes with uh, this vintage hanky. Um, and then I have the smaller Reader's Digest book in case you do want to do a small signature type. Um, I just thought the colors went well. That popped out the hat colors. Um, totally just gorgeous. I just thought it was a cute little piece to put together. Here's kit number five. Little White Lies. Oh boy, someone's in trouble. Um, <laughs> and so it's another music booklet as well. This is another Valentine's Day card. I just love the seal. Isn't that cute? And it's an oldie as well, 1911. Uh, the vintage hanky you get here is that. And that's the jewelry you get in this one. Let me keep this here and try to do this without wobbling too much. Oh yeah, and then the book you get here is the um, Indoor uh, Gardens Idea for Better Homes and Garden um, Houseplants, which is really cool about this. It's a really large book, and in it has just a ton of like garden style. Um, I can see, you know, what year this is. Just plants and, you know, the kind of gardening kind of things that you guys like. Um, what year is this? It looks like the 70s or something to me. Um, so I think you guys kind of got the idea there. So some garden theme in there. I just thought it went well together. And you guys could correct me if I'm wrong. But um, I don't know. I just thought they're cute little packages to put together for you guys to add to your projects. This one's really neat. I don't know if you guys remember a while back. I showed these to you guys. Uh, they're like Newman Marcus. They're these clip thingies. I'm not sure who that is or if there's any value to it. It's like a stand, but it also has this clip thingy. So you want to clip it on to something. Um, I just love the colors. It kind of brought out the green. Uh, here is a vintage hanky with a green like embroidery on it. Um, here's a vintage. Um, oh, you know what I'm talking about. Vintage card, postcard. Looks like it's in pencil, so you could probably erase that if you wanted to. Um, and then there's music sheet back here it says there ain't no flies on Auntie. Interesting. Machine looks elegant and all that. Um, I'm not sure what year, but um, it's gorgeous. And then I did a, a Reader's Digest book that had the colors of like the roses. Because um, some of these blues just, you know, needs a little extra color with it if you're going to use this towards something. Brought in some greens. And uh, anyways, that's number six. All right, slowly make our way to number seven. Um, here's another music booklet, um, A Dreamer's Holiday. Oh, what's really cool about this one? I kept it a gray book in case you like Tamaj Paj, whatever, onto this book. Um, it's just like lovers. It just was cute. Is that money tree? Yeah, there's money on the tree. How interesting is that one? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Let me move the book right over slowly. Um, here's a hat pen. I just thought it was cute. Um, and then, of course, vintage postcard. This is one of my favorite a rhinestone jewelry uh, piece. Uh, look at there. That is tatting where they tear out some of it and then they kind of stitch the design in it. Embroidery. And there's another name, candle wicking or something. Uh, anyways, my mom would be like, I told you all these things years ago. Um, I just love this one because I love how they stamp the front of it. Um, it's just gorgeous. It is 1909. The back is beautiful. The front is beautiful. It just was, I loved it. And I love this gray book. So it's like a leathery-ish um, and uh, it's a Reader's Digest. So yeah, it's pack number seven. All right, this one's really cool. I know you guys like your dragonflies. I found this beautiful music sheet. Um, again, another Reader's Digest. And this one is like a yellowish color. I just thought it looked great with dragonflies. It was that or the BB one, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um... So here's package number eight. And oh, I picked this because it just looked like 
you know, uh, a fly. Does that make any sense? It just looked like a fly. Be cute to put on something. Um, sorry, I shoved that in your guys' face. So here's a vintage hanky I added. Still kept the yellow tones in it, the greens. Um, and uh, the vintage postcard as well. It just, I don't know. I can see dragonflies flying around that place. Here it is. Not, doesn't have a stamp, but you could definitely, like, add one. Um, here's pack number nine. Um, I actually forgot, but there's an embroidery piece that's supposed to be on here. <laughs> if you're interested in the Chinese one, I'll, I'll just throw it in there. Um, but the really cool about this one is this, oops, sorry, hit the camera. Um, the book reminds me of bamboo for some reason. It is really cool. Very oriental, really cool oriental, uh, Chinese, um, uh, music sheet. Um, and I put this on here and I'm sure there's some value to this. I haven't looked it up. But it's genuine opal, and it's one of those little um, shirt pins that you you know you open up the bottom, you put this in the fabric, and you pin it at the bottom. But it's you know opal. Sorry, the sunlight. If I could show you. Anywho, we guys can see the sparkle. It's not just. Anyways, it's just gorgeous. Um, and then pack number nine. That was nine. That was a Reader's Digest book. Pack ten. Uh, towards the Christmassy, um, I, d I was going to add a piece of cross Christmas fabric to this. It's not here right now. I just wanted to hurry up and get the daily deal out for you guys. Um, again, another one of those Newman Marcus frames. I just thought was really cool that um, you could figure out how you want it. You want to keep it whole or what have you. I did an S hanky. Yes, S for Selena. No, I'm joking. It's Christmassy for holiday bells. So S for Santa. I thought it would be cool. You could use for something, cut it out, whatever. It's a Christmas booklet, uh, a music sheet, um, a Reader's Digest, and the green. I just thought it would be cool if you layered something on here. Um, and maybe you can even put that in the middle. Um, maybe some different fabrics underneath it or something. It just... I don't know. Use your imagination. I'll add some fabric to that one. Christmas fabric. So instead of making it dizzy, making my way to 11, I'm going to put this on pause. Okay, I am back. Hopefully and shift my hand here. It's going numb. Uh, like a Victorian theme. I loved it. I really love this Reader's Digest book. Um, it has the colors and it's got some age to it, which is adorable. I think it just goes along very well with the Victorian. Um, so it says in Montana where his Love Songs Won My Heart by Charles Clint. I'm not sure, but a really cool guy on the front with the green colors and all that. Of course, rhinestone jewelry. I thought it was beautiful. Vintage postcard. It's a Valentine's Day one to my Valentine. Um, it's really cute back with the 1912. And then, um, like I said, the rhinestone jewelry. This is packet number 11. And uh, I just love the, the hanky on this one. It's got that lace edging. It was just very adorable. Just, I could see laying it on a book or putting it on the front of a book or in the, one of the corners or something with a piece of rhinestone jewelry. It just, that's pack number 11. I can go on and on on what you can do, but it, <laughs> you guys are the ones who are the creative ones. Um, here is pack number 12. Excuse my shadow. Um, this book has a little bit of a tear here and there, but oh my gosh, it's beautiful. You can see it. Um, Isidore, World Words and Music by Charles Glennigan. I don't know. She just looked adorable. The music sheet is awesome. I don't know if that's signed or what, but, um, <laughs> moving on. I do not look things up. I try not to. A good deal is a good deal, right? Here I added a few interesting things. You're like, what the heck is a spoon doing there? Well, I'll, show, I'll tell you in a minute, but this has got like, it's a rhinestone, but it's like a brown rhinestone. If you guys can see that, okay. It's brown, you know, it kind of reminds me of like gold. It reminds me of the gold that's in this really cool postcard. Um, I don't know, and the red brought out the red Reader's Digest book. It just seemed to go together. Um, so it says, to my Valentine. And it looks like that's all I see back there. I don't know if that's pencil. It looks like pencil, be removed, I imagine. Um, it's just gorgeous. I just thought it went really well together. Um, the spoon's interesting. I, I can't really see what it says in the back, but I think it is sterling silver. Okay. Sorry guys. I'm making you dizzy. You just can see it. It's just was cute. And I could see that being pinned. It's a pen. I could see that being pinned in on something. I wonder if I could zoom in on what that says. Anyways, I have to get my magnifying glass. My eyes are not helping me out here. 
but it's a pen and you can pen it into, oops, sorry guys, zoom, in one of the cloths. I don't know. It was cute. And this hanky was adorable. My gosh, look at this corner. See that? It's just beautiful. Yeah, it just seemed to go together. That's pack number 12. Pack 13 is really interesting. Um, this simple Victorian music sheet is just gorgeous. I could just totally see someone cutting this out and putting on a book cover somehow, some way. Um, it, I'm not sure if it's valuable or what, but <laughs> it's just too cute. And I thought, oh wow, this will look good together. So another one of those really uh, cool hat pens. And I put a vintage jewelry on this one. Oops, I don't want to lose my little tag. Um, it says greetings from Grandma B. Hey, Betty. Huh, Betty, I think this one's calling your name. Um, <laughs> so, um, and here is the vintage postcard and it looks like 1913. Grandma B at the bottom, oh my gosh. All right, Betty, I hope you get to snag this one. Um, <laughs> those who don't know Betty, Betty makes chunk journals and she just, I don't know, I said call her Betty with the letter B. Anyways, back onto this. Um, I started wiping this and it seems to be coming off. I'm gonna work on it some more, but it's called Dickens. It's a very old green book. I thought it looked great with this package. It just, look at the work on that. Dickens works, little something. I did not look it up. So um, looks like it could use a little bit of work, but that's where you guys come into play for fixing. But look at that old paper. All right, so um, I'm assuming, no, it's not the date. Uh, it's an oldie. That's all I do know. Um, I don't want to make you guys any more dizzier. Charles Dickens. Um, I'm sure that's somebody important. So, <laughs> hey, it's a good daily deal, right? That's all that matters. So there is, um, let me pause. I fell to the ground. Sorry, guys. Okay. That was pack number 13. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's one of those days. All right, pack number 14, moving on. I need to get this out there to you guys. All right, I'll hold still here. All right, so here is the vintage postcard. Uh, this book is, you guys are gonna love that book. Um, it's a vintage postcard called Birthday Wishes. Looks like Greta 1911, but it looks like it's in pencil. It could be erased, awesome. Uh, if you want to erase it. I really love the vintage hanky. This could have looked cute in the Christmas one as well, but I just thought it was adorable. Vintage jewelry. Um, let me move this over here. Um, this old book, The Nature Dictionary, um, I just threw it with this because the music sheet that came with this, because my goal was to go the, around to the style of what the music sheet is, but I couldn't really figure out how to, I could have done a Fiesta one, find a Fiesta type book, but this book is an actual book, you know, more than two pages. It's got like some more, um, but this book, oh my gosh, I know this is going to be one people we're going to grab for, is adorable. I'm not sure if you want the outside, excuse me, but um, the inside uh, pages are gorgeous. Look at those nature pages. Oh my gosh. Just animals, flowers, um, butterflies, those kind of things. $9. See, there's a little mess in the front, but oh well, you guys are using the pages, right? Now you won't feel so guilty using these pages. Um, so this one is, it's like 1950, but either way, nine bucks. Oh my gosh. All right, so sorry for zooming in. Ooh, 14 is like upside down. I still gotta get my nails done. I refuse because I have yard work to do and I don't wanna get them done and get my nails done um, after just waiting. I just wanna get my, my yard work done first. Plucking a lot of weeds. Okay, so without trying to make you dizzy, that's number 14. Number 15, seems like they get better and better, don't they? <laughs> All right, so of course, vintage postcard. All right, it's a gorgeous one. Um, and then a uh, vintage hanky, which is elegant. Um, the music book that comes in this is this one here. Um, it's very simple. That's why I did this jungle animal book, but it's got like more than one page as well. It's two pages, it's like three or four pages um, booklet. Um, and then this book is gorgeous. Um, 
the color is this is the dust jacket and it's gorgeous um the animals wait to see the pages in here oh i'm gonna go slow as possible Ooh. oh i marked it okay so here's one here but i marked it with this really cool and if you guys could see this it's like one of those pens uh you put on your shirt or something um that's going in it it's got it's got a cobalt blue stone in there or emerald is whatever you wanted to call that uh, if you guys could see that, but um, the pages in this are gorgeous and you get this pen as well. That's supposed to be right on the top. So yeah, here's the pen. So that is pack number 15. All right, you're almost there. Pack 16 is one of my favorites because it's pinks and garden theme and all that. Um, of course, you get rhinestone piece. You get this really cute pink, elegant, lacy type doily doily hanky um and then you get this really cool vintage postcard Ooh, it's got two stamps hang on here two stamps oh i can't see the date 19 something cute um it comes with this music sheet of course um here we go stamp something 1909 i'm assuming but who knows a perfect day but that piece there is gorgeous i can see cutting that off and when i mean music book those who i guess i should show the, you the music sheets on the inside it's just a music booklet um this one here comes with the um let's see if i can turn it here I'm doing this one handily sorry it's a audubon nature encyclopedia Oh, you guys are gonna love it. It's just like n nearly like the other one, but uh, this book I could see you could do some work on it. Um, it's something you can use or leave it as rugged as it is. Um, but it is volume six. Let's hope I find a date. It's like 1965, but you got a lot of flowers. Um, you get a lot of wildlife in here. It's all garden themed, um, animals, wildlife, uh, woodland, I guess I could say. Um, there are some beautiful flower pictures in here as well. I'm going way too fast. We got some birds. Ooh, we get bugs. Yeah, gosh, can't beat this whole pack for $9. I just kind of like threw them together really quick for you guys. Um, and I love it when I do that because it's a daily deal. So... I'm loving it. So then we need to put the rhinestone back there. That's pack number 16. Here's pack number 17. I just love the music page. It says, I climbed the highest mountain. If I knew it, I'd find you. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I'll show you. I'm trying to move that book. It's just cute. I just, so elegant. Um, you got a Reader's Digest book here. It's, t it's like a tip, like the edges in gold. And that's why I picked this post postcard um my thoughts and love are with you on your birthday it's just it's just beautiful it's almost got like a scalloped edge um then i picked this rhinestone piece um it should lay just flat sorry i just whacked that in your face um and then the hanky i picked was this one um look at the edges on it i just see you can open it up and doing something on the corner of the book. So something, you know what I mean? Use the corners. They're just gorgeous. I think so. Some may have a little bit of staining, but oh well, you're just really wanting that. Um, so sorry to throw this in you guys' face. Um, so that is number 17. Again, another one of my favorites. Number 18 is, of course, you guys love your bees. So I found this really cool music booklet. It's the Cricket and the Bumblebee. Look at that. That's why I picked this Red Reader's Digest book because I could totally see taking this out and Maj Paging. I would even leave the, um, this, the binding how it is as well. It's just really cool. I could totally see this being cut out and putting on the top. It's just gorgeous. Um, and I picked a postcard that was similar to the colors. I'm going to get it here. Pencil. Cool beans. You can erase that. Look at the top of that. It's so cool. And then I picked a blue hanky because I figured I might pull out some of the blues. And then rhinestone and like a pearl. 
Um, this one here is called, um, okay, hello, aloha, how are you? There's some pencil that you can erase at the top. Looks like some kind of sailor of some sort. This is pack number 19. Um, I picked a leaf um, brooch that is broken that you can put, you know, still pen in. Um, I picked this hanky, which was elegant. It's kind of flipped over here. I just thought it was elegant. You got some embroidery and then that corner piece is just beautiful. And then since it was Aloha, I was thinking, okay, totally this has to be um, like Hawaii or something. Or I see some palm trees. So then I put this here um, in there. And it's a really cool postcard. Even got an awesome stamp. Just gorgeous. And then you're going to love the book. It's in a box. So let me put this on pause so I can open up that book. Okay, here's the box. Um, I'm still going to open it up and put on pause again, but um, it's this box uh, cover case that's covering this book, and it looks like the book's name is The Wor World of Bernie, Bernini, or, okay, my grammar. It's Time Life Library as well, so let me put this on pause again and open this book up for you guys. Okay, I am back. Um, I'm not sure if this wipes off or anything, but it's it's a hardcore, the world of whatever that is, uh, the year 1598 to 1680, um, but the pages are gorgeous. I mean, just gorgeous. I can't describe it, and they're a good size. Um, just beautiful. If I could go slow enough to show you guys. I wish I can capture it all. It's just elegant. It's just, you can use it for bohemian. You can, oh my gosh. Oh, it reminds me of Vegas. I know it's not Vegas, but it sounds fun right now. Um, anybody want to go to Vegas? Anywho. Um, so, yeah, I just thought it was gorgeous. Interesting. The painting of, I can't even say it. Just got like black. Okay, I could keep looking at this book. So there you have it. Um, that is pack number 19, the Aloha one. Um, when I when you guys go to find a listing, um, it's one listing. And what I'll do is see the number I have here. That is the number. If you see a pack you want, you need to write it down. So when you go to the listing, you can just so you just click on the drop down menu of the pack that you want, put in your cart, and pay. I will also have a picture um, of each one with the number next to it um, in the listing. So then, if you have to take a second look, you'll know that this is the one you're wanting. Like for instance, this is called the Gypsy. Um, there's a Gypsy lady on the front. Music pack. I put in a Bohemian applique. Of course, you got to put a peacock in there. Um, of course, since I know you guys love your peacocks, I had added in um, a vintage piece of jewelry that um, is a peacock as well. It's just really elegant. Um, and of course, pack number 20. Since we got a lot of purples going on, I picked the Purples Reader's Digest. Um, and then this uh, vintage postcard link on the back. And uh, this hanky, I don't know if you guys could see it. I imagine you could see it if I put it right on. There you go. On that purple. Um, you see that? Let me open that up good. And it's got like a scalloped edge. All right. Making you guys dizzy. There you have it. So it's really cute and elegant. I just thought it was. Um, I could totally see you guys making something with it. Look at that cool peacock. Anyways, that's pack number 20. Um, I hope you guys loved everything I showed you and the good deal um, for the daily deal. Um, I hope you guys have a blessed day. Um, I'm excited. I can't wait to you guys pick your pack. And most of all, I love to see what you guys create. So you guys have a wonderful day. And like I said, each pack is only $9. Get it while you can.